over 600 muscles along with the bones make up the musculoskeletal system. The bones provide structure or support for the body, and the muscles provide the ability to move. They enable one to do physical work such as walking, running, jogging, sports, and others. Muscles are connected to bones by tough cords of tissue called tendons. Tendons are similar in structure to the ligaments that attach bones together across a joint. Muscles undergo contraction. Muscles can only pull but cannot push. This would be a problem if a joint was controlled by just one muscle. As soon as a muscle contracts and pulls on a bone, there would be no way to move the bone back again. This problem is solved by having muscles in pairs. They are called antagonistic muscles. Most muscles of the musculoskeletal system work in pairs, called agonists and antagonists. During movement, the agonist is the muscle responsible for moving body parts, which contracts or shortens. The antagonist muscle, on the other hand, acts as against or in opposition to the agonist muscle, stretching when the agonist contracts. The antagonist muscle is responsible for moving the body part back to its original position. Muscles fall into two basic groups depending on what the person is doing at any given moment. For example, the quadriceps are the agonist for extending or straightening the knee. The hamstrings stretch when the knee extends and so are the antagonists for this action. This kind of movement is called flexion. The hamstrings become the agonist muscle when the knee bends and the quadriceps become the antagonist. This movement is called extension. Here are other muscles that commonly work in as antagonistic pairs in the body. Pectoralis major and latissimus dorsi found in the chest and back. Anterior deltoids and posterior deltoids found in the front and back of the shoulder. Deltoids and trapezius found in the upper back and shoulder. Spinal erectors and abdominus rectus found in the abdomen and lower back. Gastronomius and tibias inferior found in the chin and calf. Extensors and flexors found in the forearm. Biceps and triceps found in the top and underside of upper arm. Thank you.